Welcome to this tutorial. You will learn how to create a new material. Open the material library by clicking the plus button. Add a new material. Rename it. It appears in the materials library. Open the shader. There is two files, a thumbnail one, and a point .fs, for fragment shader. That allows you to customize the calculation of the color of each pixel. Double click the fs one. The shader takes as input the different properties of each pixel and returns the color of the pixel. The great part is the JSON packet, which contains credit, tags, and inputs. By default there is one alpha input. Select the material and add a quad. You may control the alpha. The alpha is defined as following. Float, minimum, maximum and default values. There are the included libraries. And the function, which is a VIC4 means for values, RGB and alpha. By default, red is 1, green is 1, blue is 1, and alpha is the input declared. Let's create another input, for example to control the red color. Copy and paste the line. Change the label and the name. And add the input name to the return for the R value. Now you may adjust the red color. Let's define a green value. Add a float. Name it green. And a constant. Don't forget to change the G value. Now green is 0 0.7. Change the constant to see the effect. Repeat the operation for the blue. Type, name, value, and the return. Let's use text scored instead of constants to create a gradient. On the x axis for the green. And on the y axis for the blue. In the upper left corner of the input, Red is 1, green and blue 0. In the middle, red is 1, green and blue 0 0.5. In the down right corner, red is 1, green and blue 1. Let's add a sinus to create an animation. So from minus 1 to 1. Add 1, now from 0 to 2. Multiply by 0 0.5. Now from 0 to 1. Add time. And multiply by a constant to increase the speed. Now ready to train yourself. 